All right, with that, ladies and gentlemen, we'll move on to uh, the next interesting speech that we have for you. Mr. Subranshu Singh, Global Head Marketing, Royal Enfield, who will be discussing the growing presence of Southern brands in the global context. It's going to be a fantastic conversation. Uh, I'm absolutely sure that you'll have a great time listening to the gentleman. Let me quickly hand it over to uh, Mr. Singh. Thank you. Thank you. I'm delighted to be here. Uh, it's a great initiative by Exchange for Media. Uh, I was really excited to learn of the Dakshin Diaries and the whole IMA South Awards. I think that the South uh, in this country represents a pillar of our economy. I think both in terms of the current potential as well as the times ahead, it is really a, a, a core a promise of our economy lies and emerges out of the southern states. Uh, and also human talent, you know, one should not miss the fact that some of the biggest managerial talents that have emerged from India have been from the south. Uh, this includes Mr. N. Chandrasekharan, who's chairman at Tata Sons, Mr. Sundar Pichai, Mr. Satya Nadella, Indra Nui, and so many others. So I think congratulations to Exchange for Media, and it's a Great initiative, and I hope it becomes an institution. Why the South? I think we'll uh, we'll we'll probably need to set our perspective right in terms of what's happening to India. If India grows, say, at seven percent every ten years, we add another India to this India in terms of affluence, and naturally the pyramid is becoming narrower. People are upgrading. There is a creamy layer that's settling down. So across the board, you see a bigger population bracket earning more. And we know that per capita income, the takeoff at certain points in per capita income is closely related to the growth in terms of the local economy, as well as consumption per se. Consumers emerge when the underlying economy is doing well. Now, one particular thing in India is as you move down every tier, it literally begins to multiply many fold in terms of the population size. Uh, however, the income progressively goes down. Now, it is a myth that, you know, urban is always better than rural. It is also a fact that uh, across a large number of states in India, uh, a very large proportion of our affluent people also live in rural areas. Uh, and so in the South, I particularly have noted through my career, whether it was with Hindustan Lever, with Visa, um, you know, with broadcasting in, in Star. I was lucky and privileged to have launched the first Tamil channel in sports. And I have noticed that urbanization and its gap vis-a-vis -vis rural populations and rural consumers is quite narrow in the South compared to other parts in the world. And that's a very promising thing for the development of the economy. But what's also happening is as the consumption starts to go up in terms of per capita consumption levels, people are not becoming homogenous. What I mean is it's not as if an affluent consumer who is a, a Malayalam speaker and lives in Kerala is closer to an affluent speaker who lives in uh, West Bengal speaks Bangla. The Malayalam speaking consumer from Kerala will be closer and will be more, uh, uh, you know, his relevance levels will be more for what is happening in Kerala. And so at one level, while consumption is going up and everybody is consuming in a similar manner, at the same time, it is not homogenous. India is becoming more diverse in a rich way, in a good way. So, and that's also reflected in the growth of local media, media across South Indian states, um, as also in Gujarat, in Bengal, many other parts of the world, are becoming very richly local in terms of language, tone, and culture. Now, this is a very clear phenomenon the moment we start looking at digital behaviors. There was a Google KPMG report last year which said 90% of all video consumption is happening in regional languages. And digital advertising in vernacular is likely to be many times more efficacious than the same thing in English. 
uh, the internet user base in India is already about 75 crores and counting. But if you see in the last five years, the growth for language, regional language internet has been at about 18% CAGR. And that number is now about 540 million or thereabouts. So about 50, 55 crore people. Whereas the same thing in English has barely got to about uh, 199, 200 million. So put together, Kannada, Telugu, Malayalam, Tamil, as also other Indian languages are richer in terms of content, are much higher in terms of engagement and followership. And this is going to be <coughs> particularly the case in, in the South as well, which always had a lead in terms of publishers, in terms of local language cinema, in terms of local language content. So this is a very good development. Next, I wanted to show you what is going to happen in the overall construct of how our brand has grown and what does that tell you about the South? Now, Royal Enfield is proudly Indian while being a global British brand. But our home is Chennai. As of now, every motorcycle that we sell in the world. And that plant that you see at the bottom right of this image, the Tiruvattu. In Chennai, today we have three world-class facilities in Chennai, in Vallam Vadgal, in Tiruvattayur, and in Oragadam. So, Enfield is very much a heartland India brand, which is proudly in the south of the country. I would like to show you a small content piece that we had made a few years ago, which reflects our pride and our nostalgia of what Chennai is to Royal Enfield. May we play the video, please? I'm very proud of that piece of communication. It always gives me goosebumps. Increasingly recognizing the importance of regional languages, 
particularly in the South, our communication is also reaching out to a much larger audience thanks to us communicating in their language. And this is true of Tamil, of Kannada, of Telugu, and several other languages. But naturally, the impact will be felt richest in those parts of India where the language content culture is very strong and thriving. And, and we believe that that's the case with the South. I also want to show you, as we go ahead, some of the work that's happening in the world, around the world, it does not contradict or work at cross purposes with our presence as a proud Indian brand. And so, like I mentioned, we are present in dozens of countries across the world, represented on every continent, uh, whether it's Asia Pacific or Europe or Latin America or North America. Uh, there is a lot of content that is um, universal in application. The brand is a global brand. And yet, we are uniquely in the South, what we are not in any other part of the world, what we are in terms of uniformity and homogeneity, we wish to be the same brand. So whether it's Barcelona or Bombay uh, or Madurai, we are exactly the same brand when we meet the consumer. But we are very sensitive and sensible to who the consumer is in a particular location versus B, you know, B location. And so I think the chemistry, the evolution of the brand, the content, et cetera, while it's universal in application in terms of execution, our focus gets tweaked and, and we are able to create magic in the local context. This is also true of some of the digital initiatives that we have taken, we have launched a make it yourself configurator where people are able to personalize their motorcycles. We have almost a million strong following on our app, but that is also while it is leading to a universality, while it's leading to everybody in the community coming on the same platform, it's also making each regional cluster richer because you have connections with that many more people, whether you're living in Kerala, in Tamil Nadu, in Telangana, in Andhra Pradesh, in Karnataka, you are able to discover more things. You are able to relate to content which is coming from Telangana or Karnataka or Kerala. Engage with more consumers. Feel like a part of your region, much richer with the brand. So this is uh, our constant endeavor. Next. We have done continuous level of activity even in the last year or more when we have been down uh, you know, with COVID and other complications. The whole country went through a lockdown across the world. Uh, we, had a, we had a challenge in terms of the supply chain and other things. But our digital content, our user-generated content, our ability to create a narrative independent of writing because for many months, people were not able to ride across the country or across the world. But we were able to relate to them with nostalgia, with reminiscing, with you know, the content on custom motorcycles, how to use cameras, what do you do with GoPro, what are custom motorcycles, motorsports. And a lot of this engagement was also people telling us. So it was user-generated content, including uh, a very great contest that we did called the Art of Motorcycle, where people, 10,000 people participated and sent us illustrations. 60% of them were from tier two, tier three towns. And many of them did not even own a Royal Enfield, which tells us that, you know, when you communicate locally, when you are able to get your message across to an engaged audience, people also participate. So throughout the year, we have done this and each part of this campaign has also found some reflection or the other in the local languages and also in the south of India. Recently, we launched the Classic 350 with the GA series engine. Again, uh, it was a conscious effort on our part to reach multiple language clusters and language groups and ensure that we are seen uh, by a very wide audience. And we advertised in Hindi, in Tamil, and in several languages. Again, our CSR initiatives are countrywide, in fact, global in scope, but we are doing a pilot in every part of the country. We're beginning with uh, Ladakh, 
uh, we wish to do something very engaging in the south of the country, in the greater Bangalore area. And it's a connecting bond, right? A rider in Kerala or in Telangana can be riding to save the Himalayas. Likewise, people who come to a rider mania come riding from all over the country to Goa. This builds a diversity in unity, uh, you know, out of many types is one rider, is one Royal Enfield community, but it's also reciprocal. So everybody feels more responsible for their own local area development, local area conservation, but also do things on national or even global agenda, such as the one ride, which we recently concluded, where thousands of riders join in from across the world on the same day. So in effect, this is what I had for you today. I'm again delighted that Exchange for Media has taken this initiative. Uh, you know, we are, as I said, proud citizens of Chennai, but personally as a marketer in my last 20, 25 years of continuous marketing career, I have seen uh, that consumers in the Southern states in India are a very active, very conscientious and a thriving lot. And, you know, I think this augurs very well for our economy and for marketing as such. So I thank you and I wish you all the very best. Thank you.